and then lift your head and your chest. You probably don't need your blanket for this next one. We're gonna come into a seated twist. So come onto your sit bones and you're gonna place your left foot outside of the right knee and the right knee can be pointed straight forward. Check in here, see if you can get both of your sitting bones grounded. If you feel the left hip is really lifted, you might be better off by extending the right leg straight in front of you. And then you can hug your left shin into your chest so that you're sitting up tall. Bring your left arm behind your back so that's a little kickstand and guide for you. And then to turn and twist, you could place the elbow outside of the knee. A grip that I'm enjoying is wrapping the elbow around the thigh. It feels more like a hug and it feels a little bit more yin. So there's less of an aggressive and active twist and more of a just placing your body into the spinal rotation and then learning to breathe there. Your head could be neutral or you could also turn your head over your left shoulder. I'd recommend closing your eyes here. That's gonna help you stay soft in the back of your neck, which can be an area of tension for a lot of us. Now, as you stay in the twist, you don't need to push to pull or to pulse. Your breath is actually perfect here. So when you inhale, you will notice that your body naturally backs off a little bit. And when you exhale, there's a natural turning of the spine deeper. So again, this approach to twisting is a little bit different than say in another type of yoga. We're in the twist now, and the breath is creating a massage, and it's also facilitating the detoxification of your spinal column.